AP, partisan, letter to my younger self. What I would say to my younger self is to keep going. Exactly what I did is just keep going, keep believing, keep having an uh, imagination. And um, that's probably the biggest thing to do. It could be hard in the moment, but just continue to have that imagination. I've been in different situations where multiple people or just the situation wasn't for me and a lot of people doubted me. And I've always used that, whether it was going into my off season as motivation. But one thing about me, I, I never forget who said what and what was said. So I always kind of keep that in the back of my mind, no matter what I'm doing and just, that kind of keeps me on the edge and keep me, you know, mentally staying not strong, but just always working with an edge and having a point to prove. I can't sit here and say, oh, I'll do this or I'll do that. Like, I really don't know where I would be, to be honest with you. I'll tell you this much, I wouldn't be in Europe. I'll probably be somewhere in the Bronx, New York, whatever, doing who knows what, I'm not sure, but I wouldn't be here though. Why I never gave up, I don't really have to answer for that. One reason why I would say maybe because of basketball, but other than that, I'm not too sure why. I just, I just kept going. I feel like sometimes you have to go through whatever growing pains, whatever adversity, it makes you more wise, more witty, and it just, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a level of, um, it's a process that I feel like all human beings have to go through in no matter what field they're in, whether it's basketball, a doctor, you can't skip steps. As little kids in America, we only thing that we're told is NBA, NBA, NBA. So to tell me something about Europe, I would have for sure thought you was lying because I didn't even have a passport until my rookie year. If I told you uh, at this point in my life that I would be here when I was 10 years old, like if you was to tell me that then, I wouldn't even believe it. But just been through so much adversity and just so much just about to give up in just different instances of my life to where I'm just like, man, forget this game of basketball. But I've always stayed true to the game of basketball. I've never cheated it. So, I mean, I guess that's what happens when you just, you know, when, when you're rewarded from the game of basketball.